hii kutokana na mazungumzo ambayo tutakuwa nayo studio ni sasa hivi lakini kabla ya hapo ama kabla tu introduce wageni angalia jumbe mbili tatu wala ambao wanasema nasi kwenye 0741950000 wala ambao wametumia ujumbe mfupi wanasema namna gani kweli kabisa our surprise power power couple wako hapa mm -hmm. na tunashukuru sana Mungu kwa sababu ya hilo kabla hatujaenda kwao uh, kuna watu wanasema naona mmoja anasema neno la baraka kupanua uwezo wangu amen. na tunashukuru Mungu umebarikiwa mwingine anasema amen the lord is my shepherd i shall not lack anything in the month of december powerful worship god bless mgr tv amen na kuna wengine wengi wanaendelea kusema nasi uh, endelea kuongea nasi tumia uh, hiyo namba 0741 950000 endelea mm -hmm. kutuma ujumbe wako hata tunapoendelea na mazungumzo mengine. Wow. Tuseme kama tutakuja itakuwa ni surprise Kweli ile topic ambayo tunakuja kuzungumzia. Kweli kabisa. Tunazungumzia marriage. Wow. Mhm. Mm yes. Ndio ni swala nyeti. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> na tuko hapa kwenye studio mm -hmm. na tunao wageni wa ajabu sana. Wow. Na mnapendeza sana. sana. <laughs> Wonderful. Karibuni wow. sana kwenye studio zetu. Mm -hmm na tunashukuru sana kutenga wakati na muda kuwa hapa katika studio zetu. Mm -hmm. Mtazamaji amewagoja sana. sana. Tumekuwa tukimwandaa sana. Mm -hmm. Na kwa hivyo ninaomba ya kwamba tunaweza chukua huu wakati tuweze kumsalimia na pia kujitaja. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Asante sana. Karibu sana mtazamaji kwa majina ni Apostle Nicholas Njuguna na pia niko nimekuja na mke wangu hapa. Nasema jina lake. Eh, habari zenu asante kwa kuungana pamoja nasi kwa majina naitwa Pastor Lucy na nimeokoka tuko mahali hapa kwa ngea about marriage amen wow labda tu Pastor Nicholas na Pastor Lucy mna hudumu wapi tuna hudumu katika Shilo Sanctuary uh, Mlolongo chini ya uh, uh, Reverend Peter Morioki wow yes wow yeah. you look amazing today you look beautiful today You look uh, you, you're bright and all that. Yeah. Na mnaka nikiangalia tu hivi ninaona mmekuwa na ndoa ya kufana na you know yeah, I just admire. I, I, I can't wait to kusikia uhondo eh? ambao mmetubebea. Unasema you admire? Ni sawa, ni sawa. Tutafadhali tusikue personal. Nimewacha. Asante. Mlipata na wapi? Uh, safari imeanza uh, mwaka wa 2016 tulipatana pale Heaven's Gate. Wow. Uh, nimeenda maombi ya siku 21. Uh -huh. uh, pia mke wangu alikuwa pale kwa siku saba uh -huh. uh, ile wakati pia nilikuwa naombea uh, kuwa na ndoa. Okay. Na katika ile harakati siku moja nikapata kuka kuwa na wakati wa kutoa testimony on, on a Friday kesha ya Friday. Uh -huh. Na pale ndio ndi notice akitoa shuhuda yake. Oh, so wakati ulikuwa umekuja kuomba yes. na yeye amekuja kwa hamko mnajuana. Hatuko tunajuana. Pastor Lucy pia ulikuwa umeenda kuombea ndoa ama ah, mbona unaenda kuambia tu mambo mengine. Sikuwa na ndoa. Sikuwa na ndoa. Okay. Nilikuwa mali pale actually nilikuwa naombea visa ya kwenda London. Ah. Lakini Mungu mipango zake anapangua na kupanga. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yuko pale anatoa ushuhuda yuko pale anatoa ushuhuda <laughs> mimi nika nika sport uh -huh. but um, kusema kweli uh, haikuniingia ya kwamba tunaweza kuwa na ndoa sababu kuna ile kitu mnajua mtu anaangalia <laughs> wanaangalia mtu mrefu kama mimi <laughs> niko hata mtu tunatoshana <laughs> but uh, ali, ili pia ilikuwa on 31st okay. march Ah. it is her birthday. Ah, wow. So she she was celebrating birthday yake. Okay. So katika ile harakati nikajiuliza nini mtu pewa zawadi ya birthday yake. Uh -huh. Na katika simu yangu nilikuwa na shilingi 1000. Okay. That is where now it all started. Wow. Yes. Hi. You spot her <laughs> the first birthday you gift her and uh Mbele kuzuri. Ah, wow. wow. <laughs> Just love that. Hapo ndio wanasema the rest is history. <laughs> Here we are. And they live and live happily ever after. <laughs> wow. Amazing. That was that was a good one. Yes, that was good a, one. a good one. Yeah. Um mumepatana. Yes. Mumeishi pamoja. Yes. Mumekaa katika ndoa. Yes. 
na Mungu sasa ametujalia. Tuje tuzungumzie sasa haya mambo ya ndoa. Mm-hmm. Kwa tafsiri yenu mm-hmm. ama kuelewa kwenu what is marriage? Ndoa ni nini? Yes. Mm. Uh, na ufahamu Mungu amenipa mm-hmm. ndoa ni watu wawili wa kiungana mm-hmm. kuanzi, kuanzi, kuanzisha jamii mm-hmm. ma kuanzisha jamii mm-hmm. sababu ndoa ni kitu inahusi inahusiana na something spiritual mm-hmm. uh, emotion mm-hmm. na physical, physical closeness mm-hmm. so ile kitu ni ya watu wawili wa kiungana ndio waanze jamii mm-hmm. sababu hii kitu ni Mungu alianzisha mwenyewe mm-hmm. wakati alileta Adam na Eve pamoja. Mm-hmm. So this is something is called um, uh, it's bringing a family, starting a family together. Kwa sababu mm-hmm. alisema ali pia tu tuanze jamii. Mm-hmm. That is my understanding about marriage. Mm-hmm. Yes. Pastor Lucy. Eh kwangu ndeza sema eh vile amesema kuleta watu wawili. Mimi mm-hmm. si not only watu wawili. Mm-hmm. Mimi kuelewa kwangu uh-huh. lazima ikuwe mwanaume ah uh-huh. pamoja wapate watoto hiyo uh-huh. that is my understanding of uh-huh. marriage wow uh-huh. umesema na umesisitiza sana uh-huh. ukasema ya kwamba ndoa mke. ni kati ya mke na mume uh-huh. kumaanisha um, tumeona yeah. wakati mwingine uh, kwa mitandao yetu wakati mwingine hata tumeona hata kwa uh, yale mazingira ambayo tunakaa mume na mume wanakaa pamoja mke na mke wanakaa pamoja hivyo basi hii ni sio sio njia ambayo ndoa inafaa kuenenda yeah. so okay. maana my belief sana sana sasa tusipoangalia from a spiritual angle okay. tukiangalia from a humane angle mm-hmm mwanaume na mwanamke haja yao kubwa ni to extend a generation mm-hmm. or rebirth re uh-huh. na sasa nikioa mwanamke mwenzangu that means if all of us we get married to the same sex uh-huh. kuna wakati itafika the generations will come uh-huh. to uh-huh. Yeah. and that was not even the will of god uh-huh. yeah. Wow. Okay. Sasa tumezungumzia uh, jinsi sisi wenyewe tunaelewa marriage. Mm. What does the Bible say about marriage? Is the Bible silent or inaongelea marriage? It is picture uh, inaongelea marriage sababu ilianza in Genesis. Okay. It all started in Genesis I to ask book exactly what verse. Mm-hmm. But also when you go to verse 18, mm-hmm. it says that Genesis 2:18 it mm-hmm. says that mm-hmm. uh, and the lord says mm-hmm. it's not good for a man to be alone mm-hmm. so nitamuumbia mm-hmm. msaidizi wow. so al mungu alijua ya kwamba sio vizuri mwanaume kukaa peke yake uh-huh. so mahali pale akaanzisha ndoa ndio mahali ndoa ilianzia ya kwanza mm-hmm. so ilianza in genesis 2 18 ndipo Mungu aliona huyu mwanaume hawezi kukaa peke yake mm-hmm. sababu Kenya Mungu alifanya aliumba Mungu kama kwa mfano wake mm-hmm. so after kuumba akaona huyu mtu hayuko complete mm-hmm. bila msaidizi wake mm-hmm. so the, the bible is not silent about marriage mm-hmm. na ukiendo ukiangalia ndio sababu unapata hata Abrahamu anaenda ameoa ameka katika miaka yake mm-hmm. na Mungu anampe uh, watoto ndio generation ya iende kikuru mm-hmm. na kuwe na kizao kingine mm-hmm. so the bible is not silent about marriage mm-hmm. yes Um, let us dive deeper into this matter mm-hmm. kwa sababu hili ni swala nyeti sana na limesumbua watu wengi mm-hmm. kumekuwa na changamoto nyingi sana mm-hmm. katika ndoa uh, nyinyi mmekaa pamoja kwa uelewa wenu na katika kuangalia hali za ndoa mm-hmm. ni mambo gani ambayo yanaleta mtafaruku ndoa hazisimami watu wengi wanatengana sana mm-hmm. wanaingia kwa ndoa leo siku chache baadaye hawako pa what is not working in marriage or oh, is there a wrong way and a right way to approach marriage <laughs> to my understanding uh-huh. eh vile pastor apostle Nicholas amesema uh-huh. the bible is not silent uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> na kama umeamini Mungu uh-huh. your source is the word of god uh-huh. on how to approach marriage uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now the problem that has been there sana sana mm-hmm. it's because we enter we enter with a 
with the background of what we watch. Uh -huh. <laughs> Young people are watching soap opera. Uh -huh. Now you think we they are for entertaining. Uh -huh. They're not acting. real life. Uh -huh. So Mimi ni taona are handros, Ijuna Isabella, when I kiss all the time, they're hugging all the And when I'm entering into marriage, uh -huh. I'm thinking that is what is going to happen into marriage. Uh -huh. Now, when I get into marriage, I'm marrying a man uh -huh. who is not going to hug me and throw me up all the time. Uh -huh. I understand it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There is work to be done in marriage. Uh -huh. Now what happens when I enter into marriage? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now I start comparing. Okay. Now in my head, I'm thinking Lazima kupwe kuna wanaume when you want to exist on TV uh -huh. out there. So ah. I will start despising what I have mm -hmm. instead of working on it. Okay. And that is one major problem. So number one, people are consuming wrong. Yes. Ah. And where we are getting our knowledge from, mm -hmm. it's important. Ah. Because marriage is not what we see on TV. Uh -huh. Marriage number one is commitment. Mm -hmm. It's not even love. Mm -hmm. I usually say love grows with time. Mm -hmm. The more to know we're patient with each other love grows. Mm -hmm. But commitment, mm -hmm. it's a choice you make. Mitakana who you mwanaume, atakama anafanya hivu, anafanya hivu. Because I want, at the end of the day, I want to be proud of what I'm brought up. Pasa Lucy, ukizungumzia vitu tuna watch ndo ni natu affect and tukifika kwa ndawa tunawana ni vitu tofauti. Does it mean that during dating and courtship hatujuani? Yeah. Yeah. During courting and dating, mm -hmm. actually, how do you do anything? Uh, sometimes, <laughs> we, we, we try to, pu to put our best foot forward. Kama labda mna juana pale, pengine, sijui venye ilikuwa, lakini labda wakati Pastor Nicholas ana kuchumbia pale, ana, ana kuwa kijana, mechangamuka pale, ana vaa vizuri, kienda kwa ke, unapata kila kitu yuko sawa. Kwa hivyo, huwezi mjua kwa ondani, nadhani. Uh -huh. So true. Mm -hmm. Man, uh, the real person, mm -hmm. uh, I like saying this, mm -hmm. character, it has a way of popping up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. In a jileta too. Ah. So the real you, mm -hmm. at a jileta sahile wa utake. Now when we are dating, mm -hmm. we are going for two hours coffee. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what happens during that coffee time, I'll put on my best behavior. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. In dating, you can not really know the person. Okay. In other words, and other words, most of the time when we enter into marriage, mm -hmm. he will wake up and tell me, "Hey, na apa ni mejua? Na apa ni mejua? What should I do?" But in in dating, you can. do Wow. Yeah. So what is the essence of, of courtship then? Okay. Courtship mm -hmm. and dating, mm -hmm. it's not biblical. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because mostly when people were supposed, if you look at the families in the Bible, mm -hmm. and I post to you, I stand to be correct. Mm -hmm. But my understanding, all marriages in the Bible, mm -hmm. walikuwa wana wanataftiwa wachumba mzazi uh -huh. anatumana uh -huh. they meet on odd times uh -huh. kuna ingine actually that surprises me uh -huh. okay. mungu anasema enda owa malaya uh -huh. and you know kwako kama umeokoka ni so dating was not a biblical thing uh -huh. it's just a human way of you know, bringing two people to have the easiness okay. of getting into marriage. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't think it's biblical, okay. but if you want it to be there, okay. I would just cut as well. Oh, it's not right. supported in the Bible, but, but it's, uh, it's, it's done in the right way. It is what. Okay. What do you say before we go on break about this issue of yes. why are no, our marriages not working? Yes, I think one of the things that is making our marriage not working mm -hmm. uh, is the expectations that you make one as Okay. And, and how you picture, wakati melala, una picture how our marriage should be. Mm -hmm. One, kama yu, yenye mke wangu amesema ya kuangalia soap opera, mm -hmm. and all that, ukijangalia, unafikiria hivyo, ndiyo hivyo. Mm -hmm. Then, kuna ile, kuna ile hata kapo mtu anangalianga uko inji unona wameenda, umeshikana mkono, mm -hmm. then unafikiria, that that is the right way to do ma ma marriage. Yes. But where would you do the mambo anapitia? Mm -hmm. So expectation, 
and also thinking about sex is all about ah okay yes Hayo ndio mambo tunaendelea kuzungumzia hapa mm-hmm. na mambo ni mengi ya kuzungumzia kuhusu ndoa. Yes. Binafsi nina maswali mengi, pia wewe ninajua una maswali. Mm-hmm. Na tuko hapa uh, na watu ambao wako kati wamekuwa katika ndoa mm-hmm. ili waje watuelimishe. Kwa hivyo endelea kutuma maswali yako, uh, ujumbe wako wote lolote ambalo ungetaka waguzie mm-hmm. wako hapa ili waguze tumia 0741 9500000 Ama kwenye ukurasa wa Facebook Mountain of Glory Redeemed TV unaweka pale ujumbe wako alafu tutakuwa tunasoma tu kama ni swali pia tutakuwa tunasoma alafu utakuwa unajibiwa Tupenda mapumzikoni kidogo kumbuka unaendelea kutazama mwanga wa MGR ndani ya MGR TV ambapo tunasema the god of this altar answers prayers Asante. Mountain of Glory Redeemed TV The God of this altar answers prayer sana kuendelea kutegea mwanga wa MGR. Hapa tuna mazungumzo. Mazungumzo ambayo yanatujenga sisi na tumeona pia yanakujenga wewe pale nyumbani mtazamaji. Endelea kutuma maswali maswali pale ukiuliza swali zote lile ambalo uko nalo si tutasoma alafu itakuwa inajibiwa. Na naona maswali yamekuja sana. Watu hili jambo nilikwambia ni nyeti. Na tunasema ninaguza karibu kila mtu na kumbe ni ukweli. Na kwa sababu nadhani vijana wengi wako katika hiyo hali na wanataka kujua zaidi kabla ya kuingia. Kabla ya kuingia. Mm-hmm kuna watu kadha wa kadha wanauliza maswali. Yes. Na kuna mtu hapa anarejelea so, uh, jambo ambalo Pastor Lucy umezungumzia. Ya kwamba wakati mnachumbiana, wakati mnafanya courtship na dating, uh, hamjuani kwa uhalisi. Mhm. Mwingine hapa amesema uh, wamekuwa katika uh, hiyo hali ya kuchumbiana kwa miaka mitatu. Wasemaji hatujajuana kwa miaka mitatu. A whole three years Hakuna kitu unajua. Hakuna kitu ninajua. Ah, sema hivi kwa njia maybe ambayo inaweza eleweka. Okay. mtu ako na ile nia ya ku put what you want me to know out there. Not the real me. Juu kila mtu anajua, anajijua. Unajua kuna kale ka kitu unaweza fanya mm-hmm. na huyu kijana apote. Yeah. Yeah. So what you usually do you receive a lot mm-hmm. of the who you are the true person. Mwenye mm-hmm. ambaye it's the real you. Mm-hmm. So during courtship uko katika probation tuseme. Mm-hmm. Unajaribiwa. So hakuna mtu uputa very bad picture of themselves uh-huh. when they work or interview. Yeah. Bila kwamba umeisee. Uh-huh. So hata kama itaenda for 10 years I'll still see you. Why? Niko na the big picture of putting you into box you become a husband. Ah. That is why for the three years a person can really pretend uh-huh. because you only meet for hours. Uh-huh. And yeah. during the hours I can really pretend. Uh-huh. But now when we get inside the house uh-huh. there is no pretense. Like kulala uta pretend as. Kama ni na ngorota. Yes. Kukula hazi pretend. Na kama una kulala hivi uko tano kwa mdomo. So for the I know people who have dated we have a story of a couple. Uh-huh. They date for 10 years. Uh-huh. Na they are now into two years into marriage. Uh-huh. Actually amekuwa tu amenipigia simu ananiuliza is it going to get easier? Kwa hali ya mnajuana sasa karibu kwa ndoa. So so what you're telling uh, mtazamaji ni ya kwamba you can only get the information ya juju kidogo mm. kujua jina mm-hmm. uh, kabila familia colors mm-hmm. lakini ndani na uhalisia wa mtu mm-hmm. na the character ya ukweli wa mtu mm-hmm. utajua pili tu mtakapoingia katika ndoa yes kwa ndio mambo hapa tumeuliza swali asema kwamba mnaunguza kwamba um, love 
ili la developia so that that mean mtu anazoana kama hawajapendana alafu love ikuwe baadaye anataka explain hapo kidogo anaitwa mama alpha eh kitu ambacho naweza sema about love is that when the bible commanded the man to love the woman the woman was not born with love the woman grows in love now when a man start dating like when aliliona kuna stand in his spot and then akapata kuna kitu anapenda ndani yangu lakini ame in spot now what happens that is what we call attraction attraction mm -hmm. do not kwanza okay because a human being always have a sketch mm -hmm. ya ule mtu mwenye anatamani kukuwa na yeye sasa kama tutumie pm the only single person to pm anakuanga na picha ya ule mrembo anataka kufanya bibi now aki spot a lady ana compare na the picture na hapo kuna love it's called attraction now we you money on that basis of attraction and what you like mm -hmm. now love is a strong word okay because love is once born when i take his values and put them first wow. before mine ah. that is what we call love nila unajisahau kabisa i do not exist he exist first okay <laughs> now that is where ndio ile unapata mama amekaa katika ndoa 50 years bwana mm -hmm. anamchapa unapata mama anasema hapa sitoki Mm -hmm. ah. She's rooted. No, she sees beyond your kuchapa. So, so no matter what happens, I'm here to stay. I'm here to stay. stay. Now, that is what we call love. Ah. I'm not saying we entertain physical, yeah, yeah. domestic violence. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm just saying you grow beyond yourself. Okay. Hadi mm unajisa -hmm. hao, kuna sasa hao. Now love is a strong word. Sasa katika hali ya kujisahau ili tusisahau Pastor Nicholas yes. na sisi hapa. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Nicholas yes. uh, ni hili swala ya kwamba sisi vijana tuna struggle sana katika hali ya kupata wake. Kwa sababu uh, sisi tukiwa tu, tu, wakati tulikuwa tunakuwa kuna mambo tulisoma pale nyumbani ya kwamba Mama alikuwa anafanya kazi za pale nyumbani, yeye alikuwa anaenda mtoni. Mama hakuenda shule. Kwa hivyo alikuwa mama wa nyumbani. Lakini msichana wa sasa ametuvuka sana. Lakini picha ambayo niko nayo mimi ni mama yule traditional girl. Mm -hmm. Sijui tusaidike na magani sisi vijana mm -hmm. kwa sababu unapata hatupati wake kwa sababu hiyo picha tunatafuta a, a, a wife mwenye tuliona nyumbani kwetu na hayuko so itakuwaje pastor nicolas i think hiyo swala ni kwamba in every human nature mm -hmm. kuna yule mtu unakwanga na kwa mind penye uh, pastor lucy amesema mm -hmm. ya kwamba uko na ile picha ya yule mtu mwenye unatamani kuwa mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. na kwa kijana inakwanga yeye anatafuta mke kulingana na picha ya mama yake mm -hmm. na picha ya mama yake anaangalia zile struggles na ile 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 bidii anakwanga nayo pale nyumbani ya kuta, mm -hmm. ya kuchukua ya, ya kwenda kuchota maji and all that hiyo bidii anaitafuta kwa mtu mwenye amesoma na hakulelewa katika ushago ah. <laughs> amegrow yeye amekuwa katika Nairobi jama pale na Kuru town mm -hmm. ya pale ndio hiyo mazingira ndio amekuwa katikati yake mm -hmm. sasa wewe una expect huyu msichana atenda kutampeleka hadi ushago ende achote maji mm -hmm. so utapata kuna ile vita na ile mvutano katikati ya courtship na all that because mm -hmm. there is that picture you are trying to bring in mm -hmm. sababu mimi niwaambia watu ya kwamba when you are looking for someone to marry look for someone that god has ordained for you uh -huh. not for what you unafikiria mm -hmm. it's not bad, a bad thing to go with a certain picture before god mm -hmm. because mungu pia atakuletea huyu mtu mwenye unataka mm -hmm. na pia ukue tayari sababu usisahau mama yako pia na weaknesses zake mm -hmm. so ukitafuta hiyo picha ujue uko tayari mm -hmm. kuwa na zile weaknesses za mama yako mm -hmm. so pia the same thing unapata iko kwa katika tukirudi kwa wasichana wako the same thing wanatafuta baba zao ah. katika sababu baba mm -hmm. unafaa ujue baba na msichana mm -hmm. they are very close mm -hmm. and because of the love that the dad had for the girl mm -hmm. so msichana anatafuta the same love mm -hmm. kwa, kwa 
ule kijana mm-hmm. na huyu kijana hawezi kuwa baba yake very true huyu kijana kuna mahali ametoka na character za huko kwao mm-hmm. na hizi character mm-hmm. unakuja nazo wewe ukiwa msichana na wewe ukiwa kijana mm-hmm. you come with these characters you combine them together mm-hmm. and try to make a family mm-hmm. this is where now you put your differences aside and you put everything aside mm-hmm. ndio mnaanza kujenga jamii mm-hmm. na hapa ndio watu wengi wanangangana mm-hmm. jaribu kutafuta wake because mm-hmm. they are looking for something that waliona pale nyumbani mm-hmm. sawa akitafuta ile ikiwa nyumbani na umekuja mahali kama nakuru town mm-hmm. umekuja katika muji mm-hmm. unakuja kutafuta ile kitu pale mm-hmm. na huwezi ipata mm-hmm. sababu hiyo kitu iko kwa mama yako ah. yes tukibakia tu hapo kwa vijana mm-hmm. uh, kama tusonge sana kuna hata ambao wanasema kwamba mimi huyu kijana kweli hajaokoka lakini mm. si mlevi ni mzuri. Kwa mm. nini mnashinda fulani wewe leo? Mm. Unataka kwa na compare. Unashinda kwa fulani wewe. Hey. 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 So mimi hey. kijana mzuri. Ni mzuri. Mm. So is it wrong to bet an unbeliever? Now according to the Bible mm-hmm. imetukataza. Mm. Imetukataza kuwa tu, 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 tu kuwe tumeunganishwa na watu wenye wajokoka. Mm-hmm. But also there is something we called an ordained marriage by God. Mm-hmm. Well now there is something in the bible again i think is in Ephesians if i'm not wrong mm-hmm. I say kwamba, um, to 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 angalia man Ephesians mm-hmm. but quoting ya nimesema mm-hmm. ya kwamba ya, ya kwamba wewe mke unaweza fika mahali pa kuwa pa kuwa na na, na uh, good behaviors mm-hmm. ndio mume wako mwenye aja believe in the word okay. abadilike ah. So there is a way unaweza patana na kijana mm-hmm. si ati ni Mungu aliko ndani yake mm-hmm. but ameshikwa katika mambo za za pombe na all that mm-hmm. sababu nikirudi ni, ni, ni hapo kidogo waka, wa, wakati nilikuwa kule mambo ya dunia na kwenye pombe mm-hmm. kuna mwenye angenitamani ah. you see mm-hmm. hata msichana mwenye ameokoka angenitamani mm-hmm. but hakuna mtu aliona destiny yangu these people are all have destinies mm-hmm. so you need to understand wakati una date who mtu is it something that god has called you to to because unaweza kubiria mtu mm-hmm. aokoke mm-hmm. and also you, we need to differentiate the two mm-hmm. kuna mtu unaitangwa katika maisha yake umehubiria aokoke lakini sio muone ah hapo ni kwa na mistake mm-hmm. umeitwa umehubiria ukimhubiria uache alikuwa you are just a bridge okay afikie kwa Mungu mm-hmm. then ukimaliza wewe uondoke kweli na kuna yule sasa unaitangwa tena because i have heard stories zenye mm-hmm. saishi zipeana mm-hmm. mahali msichana ame, ameolewa na kijana mwenye alikuwa kwenye pombe mm-hmm. lakini after marriage the man now ana, ana, anaingia kwa Mungu na anakuwa a man of god mm-hmm. so we need to be careful to understand mm-hmm. is it ni Mungu ameitaka mm-hmm. ama wewe mwenyewe ndio unajitafutia. Mm-hmm. Pia let me just pick something here. Okay. Kuna ile mtu anaweza ku identify something in someone. Mm-hmm. Anajiwanga this person is a very great man of God. Mm-hmm. Or this person has a great future. The only thing imemshika ni pombe. Mm-hmm. And God can give you a certain idea on how I can bring this person back to god mm-hmm. aweze kurudi kwa mungu mm-hmm. ndio kitu yenye iko ndani yake iweze kufuka mm-hmm. kama iweze ku arise mm-hmm. now that one also we need to check what is this person seeing mm-hmm. person. wow yeah. kwa hivyo mtazamaji tunaambiwa wakati mungu ametuma amekutuma ku reach out mm-hmm. wakati mwingine amekutuma ku reach out for him kwa hivyo usijitume uanze ku reach out for your yes, well. <laughs> yeah that's a take home yes yes pastor lucy unajua bibi anasema kwamba one flesh and one body yani one plus one ya bibi ya one mm-hmm. though ya huko nje ni one plus one ni two mm-hmm. so hiyo one plus one ya bible is equals to one ni hebu kuelezea hapo tuelewe vizuri mimi ni my understanding my limited knowledge about god mm-hmm. Mm-hmm nimekuja kuelewa Mungu hesabu zake ni ngumu mm-hmm. but they are perfect wow eh aliposema one person can chase a thousand mm-hmm. two can chase 10000 like mm-hmm. he's a sabu mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that's what makes god holy ah is on ngumu ngumu mm-hmm. akasema when a man meets a woman mm-hmm. they are one mm-hmm. they are no longer two mm-hmm. na hiyo hesabu ni yenye uwezi elezea sure. but it happens mm-hmm. it is so true When I meet there is that connection that comes when you get married mm-hmm. to a point that 
ushai yote umeongea uh, watu wameingia katika vita now mm-hmm. in our field mm-hmm. people come as a couple mm-hmm. i want to give you an example that can make you understand that statement mm-hmm. wanakuja na kuambia bwanangu anakuwa unfaithful mm-hmm. na yule nikasirisha mm-hmm. na nasikia nitamwacha mm-hmm. now as counselors we will make mm-hmm. one big mistake ya kumika comment about the husband negatively. Uh-huh. Yeye kwa na ruhusa ya kuongea vibaya about uh-huh. the husband uh-huh. lakini sisi hatuna ruhusa. Uh-huh. Itamkasirisha. Uh-huh. Why? They become one. Oh, ana ndio bado kuna ukiambia vibaya itamkasirisha. Yes. <laughs> They become one. Uh-huh. Now, yeye ya mimi kwa na right ya kuongea about the husband uh-huh. negative. Uh-huh. Na isi ni affect. Uh-huh. Na sitaki kwa affect. Lakini mimi nikisema vibaya. Hiyo ni vita. <laughs> <laughs> Na we become one. Uh-huh. I feel like you intruding in my personal uh-huh. space. Mimi uh-huh. niongea. Uh-huh. Now I, I will defend him uh-huh. with everything I have. Yet mimi uh-huh. niongea uba yake. Uh-huh. That is how you become one. Yeah. You know you become one when his issues become my issues. Uh-huh. 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 The mimi tu nimepewa ruhusa ama yeye ya kuongea about our negativities. Wow. But not you. So shida zako ni zake. Mm-hmm. Furaha yako ni yake. Yeah. Kinakuwa kitu kimoja. Physically we will never be one. Tunashikana. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But spiritually, mm-hmm. emotionally, mm-hmm. any other financially mm-hmm. we become one. Mm-hmm. To an extent that another third party comes in, a mother in law comes in, mm-hmm. we fight, we fight her. Yes, yes, Eliza. Uh, Unataka umwambie eh, na unajua kijana wako lakini don't make comments. Uh, Are you getting it? Yeah. Uh, that is what we call becoming one. Uh, And it gets better with time. Na nataka ni kuinterject kidogo. Umesema tunakuwa kitu kimoja. Mm-hmm. Na ukaanza kupatia na mifano mm-hmm. ya jinsi ambavyo tunakuwa kitu kimoja. Yeah. Na nimesikia umeuza swala nyeti sana mm-hmm. la fedha. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we become one even in the finances. Mimi yeah. nimekuwa kijana tu niko hapa mtamtaa ninasikia kina mama wakisema pesa zangu ni zangu ni zangu. Mm-hmm. Lakini pesa zako wewe mume ni zetu. Hiyo na lo utasema namna gani? Actually most people fight around that area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we will say ma. Mm-hmm. I have only one principle oh, that yeah. guides me okay. so much. I be true to myself. Mhm. Hakuna haja ninataka munipende nikuje ni wa bribe munipende. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day mjanipenda. Mm-hmm. Mimi ni mwa bribe. Mm-hmm. So I need to be true to myself. Mm-hmm. Nikitana mkutano hapa how many people are going to come? Mm-hmm. Without me telling them mm-hmm. to come. I understand yeah. that. For me to know the percentage of the people who really love mm-hmm. me. Now in marriage you have to be true. Uh-huh. Why are you in this marriage? Uh-huh. What do you want to achieve? Uh-huh. Now when we got married, I told him, I've made up a decision to forgive you before you do whatever you're going to do. Wow. Because <laughs> I don't want just to enter into marriage uh-huh. at in nione kuna uh-huh. wasichana wanasemanga nitaingia. Mimi uh-huh. uh-huh. nikifanya kama na mimi, nitapaki ni mwenyeshe niko na place ya kurudi. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You are free for the husband. Uh-huh. Sasa umepewa umeanza hata kupangia kutoka hata bila hata uanze kuishi. That is the point. Uh-huh. When you make a decision of entering into marriage, uh-huh. now finances do not become a burden anywhere. Uh-huh. <laughs> Because this is Uh-huh. We are a team. Wow. We are fighting each other. Wow. We are building each other. Wow. Now my money <laughs> becomes his money. Wow. Whoever pays the house rent, we are good. Whoever buys whatever, we are good. We are making a team. <laughs> This is a family. Look at the kidogo. Kwa hiyo kidogo. Mimi na hali ambayo mwanamke anapata pesa nyingi kuliko mwanaume. Alafu sasa ikishafika pale mwanamke anataka kwa sababu yule anapata pesa nyingi. Mimi nafanya shughuli nyingi za nyumba sasa mimi ndio mume. So mwanamume anadunishwa akwe afanye vitu za mwanamke. Na mwanamke sasa anataka yenda kama picha cha nyumba. Mtu kama mama mtu kwa social kama hiyo. Mwanza mwanza namna gani? And that's why we are going to the point of being true. Okay. Why did I get married? Uh-huh. If nimekuja kumuringia dominate why did you wh- what is the reason of you being in uh-huh. marriage <laughs> because again marriage is purpose okay marriage is not about your happiness uh-huh. it's for the glory of god uh-huh. if you understand that 
you are going, whatever you do as a Christian, mm -hmm. you should portray God. Mm -hmm. No matter whatever you are doing, you should portray God. Mm -hmm. Now, nikingia katika ndoa, nikwe amani more than my husband is earning. It should not be an issue. Oh. Because no matter who works, mm -hmm. it's harmony mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Wow. But now we have another issue that arises. He likes talking about it. Okay. Maybe I'll give him time to explain. Okay. We usually say it is dangerous for a woman to have two things, money and power. Let me try to get to your point. Yes. Yes. Think yeah. Now, what happens is that when I'm okay, Biblia Mesema, the submit. Mm -hmm. to you, your husband. Mm -hmm. Submit. Mm -hmm. And in submission, it yongea, mungu alijua ya kwamba, kuna wakati tafika in future, because God anonanga mbali mahali, mahali kutoka pali aliungia mtu, akajua ya kwamba, kuna watu watakuna wanaka watakuwa na hekima, na kuna wanaka watakuwa na pesa, kuliko wengine, but ikuwa na pesa pia, ikuwa na submission. Because when the Bible says that the, 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 the head of the, the, the woman is the is man. Mm -hmm. ha, 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 ha pesa, <laughs> <laughs> Masasa, power. <laughs> she gets in charge. Anakonga yeye ndiyo amekalia kiti, mm -hmm. meenge na command things around. Inda kusema. Forgetting that, he pesa enye akonayo, when he involves the man, the man has ideas, mm -hmm. then he pesa ineza fanya. Mm -hmm. Ah, wow. One of the things that people forget is that mm -hmm. a woman has the, the, the ability mm -hmm. to bring up a family na kue ata jamii yake na jua maneno ya watoto na jua na jua sisi wanaume tunasaha wata bathde siku ya mtoto kuzaliwa the woman akona hiyo kitu ameweka hata yako wakati mwingine unasaha but mwanamke akona ile kitu ya kuweka ile kitu anaweka na anajua hii bathde ya mtoto ni siku fulani ana Muko na hiyo uwezo ya kukumbuka baka date ya kuolewa, date ya kumit, mahali mulienda date, sisi wanaumia tuna. But in us, we have kitu tumepewa ndani yetu, tunaweza jenga ni umba ata kama tumekaa chima. But hiyo ni baile tunajenga, ni pesa tumekosa. So when wana mtu ukigua na pesa, Utanya kajanga nyamba kutu ulipate. Sababu I can be seated in the house, siko kazi, sababu wongo kazi, but wakati ni meka, I always say that women do not have visions. Women carry something we call dreams. Vision are for the men. Sababu he's the head and he's the only person who has a vision. So what it does, when you share as a man, when you share as a woman, you bring up a dream of what you're dreaming about, the man makes it to become a vision. And he buds it in a kuwa sasa kitu kubwa. So wakati uwewe mwanamuke ukona more power, in that power of yours, you are limited. Ata ukipata pesa iko aje, you are somehow limited. Ata wakati uwepata mwanamuke ya mifika maali, that is why unapatanga, you can get a woman, mwenye buwanate ya mekufa, is able to do greater things. Because before the man died, he shared what he had. So the woman is working with what the husband has, not what they are going to What I'm really getting yes. is that uh, the men are blessed to have the skeleton, the bigger yes. picture. Yes. But not the flesh. Mm -hmm. mama na kuja. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Je, kuna jinsi ambavyo mtu anakuwa affected whether a lady or a, a young man anapowaza kuingia katika ndoa kulingana na ile hali amelelewa kuna watu wamelelewa na wazazi wetu wawili kuna watu wamelelewa na shosho yao kuna watu wamelelewa na baba peke yake wengine wamelelewa na mama peke yake je the way you are brought up and maybe what you missed uh, does it affect you as you, you know, mm -hmm. you can contemplate about, about marriage? Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. uh, before now I get to, 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 to your point, mm -hmm. there is something that I want to clarify somewhere. Okay. okay. We, we don't mistake the visions that men carry. Uh -huh. With what you share with a woman, uh -huh. he, 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 he,
Okay. That is why the Bible says it's not good for a man to be alone. So, you are not catching the tuna vision yet. Yet, I should do a vision yet. Wow! 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 Yes, because Kenya na Fanyanga. That is why money is not supposed to be an issue between us. Sababu nui na Fanyanga kujia ni muambi e ni kona milioni tano. Yeye atakumbuka kuna mahali ni mwambia nataka kujenga nyumba fulani. Uh -huh. So yeye atasukuma uh -huh. pesa isitumike na njia nyingine. Uh -huh. And that is why they are very pushy uh -huh. and it's allowed. Wow. So God said uh -huh. it's no good for a man to be alone. So that is one thing that women need to understand when they become more much Okay. Now going back to your question. Uh, being brought up can affect uh -huh. on how we, 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 we view in marriage, uh -huh. there's something we call emotional damage. Uh -huh. And when uh, 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 your emotions is, uh, are damaged, when you are in your marriage, you will grow up and say, I'm going to grow up and say, I'm going to grow up and say, Because I'm going to grow up and say, because I'm going to grow up and say, because I'm going to grow up and say, it's either you, they used to fight. When uh -huh. you are going to grow up, kama ndoma ni ile ya babangu na mama anga uh -huh. na mama anga alichapwa uh -huh. wacha ikae uh -huh. because the emotions we are already damaged when this person was young uh -huh. there also something we call uh, uh, trauma uh -huh. that, that, that trauma uh -huh. trauma yenye mtu anaangalia anaona hapana this is anasikanga anaenda kuolewa hata anaingia kwa courtship uh -huh. akiwa hapo akikumbuka tu once that uh -huh. na mama anga alichapwa uh -huh. anaona hapana and there are people who think that marriage is 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 uh, poverty uh -huh. because when the owner mtu fulani aliingia katika ndoa akapitia kwenye shida so anaona hapana dada kwa hiyo especially when you are dogo dada yao mimi aliolewa akaolewa mali aliolewa i think you have heard stories where mtu ameolewa na alikuwa na kazi nzuri kazi kaisha but mtu wa juangi sio kazi sio mwenye alimwona kwa ana shida there is preparation unajaribiana in finances na mungu so god can bring the finances down kuanzia mwanzo mpya sababu anajua ukiingia katika hiyo ndoa ukiwa mwanamke ukiwa na pesa hauta respect so anakuja na kushusha you want a new friend a new a new star sasa ndio sasa ukionanga bwana wako ana pesa ya so bringing up your brought your when you grow may affect how you are married you be kuna watu pia wanaingia kwa ndoa kijana aliona mama akichapwa na sababu ya ile the drama itself anaingia mahali ya kujua kwamba the only thing wanawake wanafanya ngo ni kuchapwa so mimi najua nikiingia kwa ndoa kitu yenye ndakuwa nikifanya ni kumchapa okay yes mahali tumebro mimi nimeona ya kwamba mimi siku pata wazazi wangu wakiwa ingat so mi i have no reason ya kuchapa mke wangu but nimebro in an environment where by unajua sawa mimi nimebro kwa kika kijiji na robi nimepata vita ikiwa kwa plot na all that so wawa watoto wanyu unapata mtu wanakuambia pana mwanamke lazima mchapa ndi wa sikia and the women now who are brought up in a violent family pia yeye anajuanga mzee ya kinete ujinga lazima nitakonga aliona mama yake pia kuna hile sasa kumengana likuwa nangangana na umu na mke alifika maali akapata stamina so baba yake wakati amekuja akiwa mlevi akajua uta mwanatandeko so anapiga mama yake pashana wakajua oo mimi nikiolewa nikupigana Mbada wetu mekuenda sana lakini kuna suali hapa mbalo mtazamaji ya nauliza ya kwamba how do I know or how do you know that your spouse or partner is no longer in love with you? Okay. People really confused to Lisema love is in a group. Okay. Now what makes when the Bible say husband love your wife inamaanisha ya kwamba he will keep on loving me uh -huh. then in response uh -huh. i will keep on submitting uh -huh. Uh -huh. so if he stop loving me uh -huh. submission becomes hard uh -huh. if a woman stops submitting loving becomes hard uh -huh. so it's a way transaction mungu akiumba 
mwanaume na mwanamke waingie katika ndoa <laughs> alijua lazima nitamhitaji lazima atanihitaji uh -huh. to be complete yes. Yes. Now, we never outgrow love. Ah. Ati ni meacha ku fall in love. Ni kwa ni me fall in love, ni meacha ku fall in love. Ati na kitu kama yon. Ati na kitu kama yon. Ati na kitu kama yon. Our phrasing in this way. Kuna what we call resentment. Okay. Resentment ni in kikuyu wa nasema kunyira. Okay. So, swahili, wa swahili, saibi ya ni hako. Now, what usually happen, asipo ni pena. Now, in my account, I come, I come with an empty heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. He comes with an empty heart. That is why it is dangerous to date kila wakati, kila wakati. Mm -hmm. When you're entering into marriage, you have a damaged soul. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Now I come with my empty soul. He mm -hmm. comes with his empty soul. Mm -hmm. Now whatever I do that is good mm -hmm. goes to his soul. Uh -huh. So his bank is getting something. Mm -hmm. Now whatever he does to me, my mm -hmm. bank your soul and I get something. Mm -hmm. Now that is what makes me continue falling in love. Ah. I will be out. I will be buy a He brought me gift. Ah. Now in marriage, people forget that. Mm. You keep on doing mm. what you used to do when you mm. were dating mm. to make the love grow. Yeah. Mm. You don't feel like doing it. Mm. By the way, when you get into marriage after two years, you don't see the love. Mm. 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 Seriously. So you don't feel like you're growing out of love. <laughs> okay. It's not that you're growing out of love. Mm -hmm. It's because you must stop kufanya zile vitu mungikuwa mnafanya. Now, how do you rekindle? Okay. Mm -hmm. You keep on doing good things. Uh -huh. Take your wife out. Mm -hmm. Intentionally, you mm -hmm. don't feel like doing it. Mpeleke hapo mbaie nya machoma. Mweke uba. Nyumba nyacha tumambia tuingie matatu. Go spend a night somewhere. Mm -hmm. Have fun again. Wow. That is how you rekindle that love. Mm -hmm. Buy gift. Mm -hmm. Acha kusema u mama, juu hata si juangi testi yake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then women learn how to appreciate Kenya Melete. I don't know how you agree now. Wow. Just love it. Appreciate. So that you keep on empowering you to do it. There is something, if we get time the next time, mm -hmm. if there is a next time, mm -hmm. we will talk about five minutes of a man, uh -huh. five minutes of a woman. Wow. Because they, they strongly hold marriage together. Wow. Now you rekindle love mm -hmm. by having the first need of a woman and a man met. Sana, uh -huh. which the first need of a woman is affection, uh -huh. not love. Uh -huh. Affection is very different. Okay. The first need of a man is admiration. Wow. Come praise. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And real praising. So you now praise. Wow. This is really wow. getting nice and nice and nice. I and think we should get uh, next time. Uh, next time. Mm. Yes, I think part two is coming shortly. <laughs> But we are grateful for the information you are, you are sharing here. Uh, na tunatumaini na tunamini ya komba mtu wanasaidika. Mm -hmm. Na ninataka kusema kwa niyaba ya wale wanasaidika. Tunasaidika. <laughs> <laughs> ya tunasaidika. Tunasaidika sana. Na tunashukuru mungu sana. Utazamaji uh, tungetaka kuendelea sana. Lakini mtatorosu tufike hapo kwa sasa mm -hmm. na tutaomba mungu watatupa wakati mwingine. Yes. Tuweza kualika uh, the Nicholas, mm -hmm. the team, mm -hmm. uh, ili waje waendele kuzungumza nasi. Mwingine mm -hmm. mungi sema tu, uh, neno moja tu, uh, kutifupi tu, sekunde chache as a way of wrapping up. Okay. Mine as I said, marriage is dying to your own self. Mm -hmm. Kwa yesu alisema, Awezi mfraisha kama unyabeba msalaba yako. You die to flesh daily in marriage. You stop being selfish and you keep understanding in your marriage. Not communication, understanding the communication is very important. Wow. I think my last point is whenever you are getting into marriage, deal with the emotion first. Emotions are very important. You can not come into a marriage with a damaged soul, mm -hmm. a damaged emotion. Mm -hmm. You need to deal with them first when you are getting into marriage. Mtu ambaye nilitaka kuwafikia labda kama ni social media ama nambari ya simu? Yes. Uh, nambari ya simu ni 0701 11 52 46. 0701 11 52 46. Uh, Facebook na jita Nicholas Juguna.
Yes. Wow. Asante sana uh, the Nicholas kwa kutenga muda wenu na kututembelea na kutumai kwamba tumebarikiwa tumejifunza mengi ambapo ambapo tulikuwa tunaanza kuonaona kama eh hapa baadhi kumbe kwani kulienda aje unaona mm -hmm. oh kumbe nimejifanya hivi na yeye kabisa kweli kabisa mm -hmm. tulikuwa na maswali mengi ningeataka kujua jinsi hata nyinyi wawili jinsi ambavyo mnakaa pale nyumbani <laughs> uh, nani anafanya nini mm -hmm. nani anafunga mlango uh, mambo ya toothpaste wewe <laughs> nafanya <laughs> nani anakasirikana ikifanywa ikifanywa katika nyumba nyumba na mambo kama lakini tukizoto wakati mwingine na Mungu atatusaidia